Hey guys, so in this video I'm just going to sharpen the blades on this lawnmower. So here I am taking the cover off so I can clean grass out from it or whatever. Um, that's about it for this part. Good chance to check out the belt and whatnot while I got that cover off. But only got one blade off so far. So pull the other two off quick. And then, once we got those off, sharpen them up, throw them back together. Uh, oh! So as you can see, I got the half inch Milwaukee Impact to zip them off real quick. So that's what I'm doing here, getting them other two off. And I remember why I took that cover off in the first place, is because I dropped one of the nuts into that cover because you can get to them without taking the cover off but I was an idiot and dropped a nut into that cover so I had to take the whole thing off and now I just grab the screwdriver to scrape the bottom of the deck of all the built up grass and whatnot and I know like a paint scraper or whatever is technically better but uh, I just had a screwdriver in the truck which the camera is sitting on so that's why I just used that Okay, we've got all three blades off and scraped up. Uh, sat out in the rain yesterday, but oh well. They're not too bad, but could use a sharpening. Got the bottom of the deck scraped off. That was pretty bad. Not as bad as some that I've seen, but she's all cleaned up under here for the most part. So, Sharpen them up now. So as you can see, I'm using a cutoff disc and an angle grinder to sharpen these in a vise. Uh, a bench grinder is always better with a grinding wheel, or just like a grinding wheel on the angle grinder is usually better and what I usually use, but uh, I did not have a grinding wheel, so I used a cutoff wheel. And it worked just fine, but... Uh, if anyone's wondering why, I just didn't have a grinding wheel, so <laughs> make do with what you have. Okay, got them all sharpened up. I don't know, sharp enough for the most part. But I'm sweating. It's warm out, that's for sure. All right, I'm gonna put them back on, put it all back together, and then we'll test it and it should be done. So as you can see here, I'm going to start the bolts with the blades back on by hand, as you always should, so you don't cross-thread anything and whatnot. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here, and then we'll tighten them down with the impact, and it'll be ready to go.
Okay, she cuts good, it runs nice and smooth. Should be balanced for the most part. I mean, I obviously don't have a blade balancer, but I tried to keep them as even as possible. But it runs smooth, cuts good and even. Check it out. Can't really see, but. No blade of grass sticking up or nothing. Grass isn't that long because it hasn't rained too much this summer. But, uh, yeah, she'll be good to go. So here is the final product of the whole lawn mode. Uh, as you can see, nice sharp blades really make it look nice.